Crystal Ball College Football. I'm your host, Grayson Grunhafer, and today we're going to talk about this magical thing called streaming. I know a lot of people, new term ever since conference realignment has started. That's been just a reoccurring uh, thing that has been brought up. And it's becoming more and more important. And obviously, things are trending in that direction to where, you know, that's how a lot of people are going to be getting their information, their news, their sports. It is something that's becoming a huge part of our everyday lives. But the question is, is this going to work for the Pac-12? And the reason we're focusing specifically on the Pac-12 is, of course, because we pretty much know that their new media rights deal is going to have a lot of streaming involved with it. Uh, So this week, I read an interesting article uh, from Forbes uh, by Jim Williams, just kind of talking about the relationship for the Pac-12 with this streaming side of things, Um, and also just going through a few of the different factors that I think have led um, to this becoming a much bigger part of the media deal than I think people originally anticipated. Obviously, I don't think the Pac-12 was planning on it being this far and this heavily influenced by streaming. I I do think at one time there was this thought that they would lean in heavily with it, but still ESPN or CBS or Fox would still play a huge role in their media rights deal. And and I still think one of those will play a role in it. But the question is how much of a role? And so we're at a point now where we're trying to figure out, okay, which streaming option do they go with? Do they go with both Amazon and Apple Plus? Do they go with one of them? Um, How does it work with a linear broadcast? We don't know the exact specific examples, but some things point out in this article that I found really interesting were the fact that the Pac-12s had a huge relationship with Apple CEO Tim Cook. Um, They launched Apple TV Plus back in 2019, and a few months after that, there was a lot of talk about the Pac-12 potentially being interested in it, Uh, in 2024 and having them be a part of their media rights deal. So this has been going on for a long time, and I don't think people have really talked about it as much as they probably should. Um, So that relationship is there for the two to be working together. I continue to be of the belief that Apple is probably going to be um, the biggest part of their media deal. Um, But there is an option that they use multiple, but I think this relationship, this deep relationship that the two seem to have makes it seem like destiny a little bit, that the two are you know going to work together in some capacity. I think a big thing that's been mentioned uh, is the fact of, okay, if this does happen, how much money can be made? Can they catch up to the Big 12, which is at $31.6 million? Um, can the streaming be 50-50, or will it be something like 70-30 in favor of streaming? How does that work? Because I think those two things are the biggest question marks, right? How close can the Pac-12 get to the Big 12 money-wise? Um, and then how much of this deal is streaming? Because I think there is a big part of the Pac-12, whether it's presidents or athletic directors, that feel like streaming is not as good as broadcast. And... I think that a lot of those guys, they are older, so it's it's not quite part of their everyday life, their culture. I also think that they're right in some regards. You know, if you want to be a national brand, if you want to have coverage uh, and be in front of all the recruits and all, you know, all the people across the nation, get your brand out there, you definitely have to have some linear broadcasting. I think that's just a fact still uh, in today's world. Now, one thing mentioned in this article that I guess I didn't quite account for or didn't think that it would be reasonable is that if they signed a deal with Apple TV+, Plus, it doesn't mean that they can't also work a deal with Amazon. So if you work both and you're streaming on both, that's a possibility. I find that to be very confusing. I I don't know about y'all, but I would find that to be, I just, I don't know that I'm believing that. I think it's pretty much gonna be one or the other. But it's mentioned here that it is possible. And if you get both to pay, then you're making more money for your conference and maybe it does work. But I do think it's one of those things that can get rather confusing. And then there also has to be the linear partner, whether it's ESPN, Fox, CBS. I know a lot of people say CBS is out now uh, after they were kind of interested in it a year ago. Uh, But ESPN still seems like the most likely feature. One thing that was uh, very apparent in reading this article was the MLS impact. And so Apple TV Plus, of course, is producing um, and streaming 
a ton of the Major League Soccer games. That's been a huge thing for them. It, it's worked out really well so far. Um, but one thing that was negotiated in that deal was that 15 games would go on a linear network, which is Fox. Um, but Apple would still produce and stream them. It just would be streamed on Fox, which I think that's going to be very similar to what the Pac-12 deal actually is. I think there'll be some package of games that are produced and um, streamed by Apple TV Plus and then posted um, and streamed on ESPN. So it's still, you're kind of getting the best of both worlds there. um, And you're getting this opportunity to hit the national media audience while also still having a huge chunk of your content uh, still on a streaming service like Apple TV. I think that 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 is probably how I'm seeing things trending. And that's, I think, the most realistic. And since it's worked in the MLS and since there's experience here by Apple TV, I think it's one of those things that becomes rather interesting as we move forward. Um, I, you know, the more that I think about this, the more that I, it really, for me, comes down to a couple simple things. So obviously the money is one of those things where, okay, can Apple TV Plus get you this much money? Can they get you to competing with the Big 12? Can they get you close to the Big 12? Um, And if you throw on a little bit of ESPN, can it get you over the top a little bit? That's potential. The next part is the streaming part. You know, how many people are comfortable with that? How many people are comfortable with this trend that it's going to be more heavily reliant on streaming than initially thought, that it might be over 50% of the content? Um, Are people going to be able to get on board with that? specifically presidents and athletic directors, that's another great question mark. Um, Another thing mentioned here that I I think is something that we tend to forget about a little bit, but a lot of the alumni base in the Pac-12 does work in the tech industry. You know, they talk about the fact that graduates from a bunch of the schools in the conference, whether it's Stanford or Oregon or Oregon State or Washington or Washington State, a lot of them work in the tech industry. So figuring out streaming is not gonna be hard for them. And so I think that's important as well because on the West Coast, it's it's kind of more common and more acceptable because a lot of people work in that industry, more familiar with it. So does that mean that more people are going to be okay with saying, hey, like, this is easy. We can make this work. And if we get our 15, 20 games on ESPN, this is going to work out just fine for the conference. Um, It's one of those things that is going to be very interesting to explore and going to be very fascinating when we see an actual deal on the table by George Klyovkov in the coming weeks. How heavily reliant on it and what are the conditions and what are kind of the stipulations and how many games are going on linear broadcast? It's just so many questions that we have to get figured out. And then what is the response? from the presidents and the athletic directors. Um, It's going to be fascinating. But this Forbes article, the fact that it's talking about these past relationships and how it could work, um, very interesting. Very interesting stuff for the Pac-12 and definitely makes me more confident that a deal will be on the table and a deal that I think is somewhat attractive. Um, And it's just going to come down to the money and the streaming. And that's pretty much it. That's where I think we are at currently. But thanks for listening today. This has been Crystal Ball College Football.